Night Shalom. First and foremost, all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, the double honest to the Apostle Great Millstone. This is a Tazawan, Ban Yahweh, Ban Yasharala. This is another GMS motivation. And today's motivation is dealing with the scripture, Philippians, the third chapter and the 14th verse. Okay. <clears throat> and it reads Philippians 3 and 14. It says, I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of the Most High in Yahusha. So it said, I press toward the mark. What's the mark? <clears throat> mark for the prize. Well, the question is, what's the prize? Okay, prize is ultimately the kingdom. Okay, we have to press towards that mark. We have to strive for that mark. Okay, doing what? Being instant, in season, out of season. Because we were called, man. Yahweh Shimon Shai called us to do this work. So we got to press toward that goal. You know? In fact, the word mark in that scripture is uh, scopos. If I'm not mistaken, scopos. Okay? And it means um, uh, an observer, a watchman. Okay? Um, uh, uh, looking at the, the end, the end of, the, uh, looking at the end of things, um, Goal or the end, something like that. You can look it up. <clears throat> I'll put in the production. Okay, a distant mark to look at. That's one of them. And our mark, our, our goal, or our prize, man, we are looking for the kingdom to come. And that's the prize, man. That's the call. And that's what we were called. So we present towards that mark, man. You know? Um, I want to read the scripture real quick. Because um, because yeah, man, we what else are we supposed to do being in this truth? You know, and we and and when I think about pressing toward the mark, I think about hell of affliction, suffering, crying, pains. You know, um, because Yahweh Shai to get to his mark or you know to get to hit get, to get his prize and his glory he had to die but before he was sacrificed and had to die for this he went through hell you know so as the scriptures say a servant is no greater than his master or will pick up the cross everything that Yahweh Shai went through we, we gotta go through because we were called just like he was chosen to, to sacrifice himself you know <clears throat> I'm gonna read this real quick this is Hebrews 4 and 2 I'm going to start verse 1. No, so like it. Okay. This is uh, Hebrews, the fourth chapter, in the first verse. It says, Let us therefore fear, lest any promise being let us of entering into his rest. So we are pressing, pressing toward the mark to get into the rest. That's the calling. You know, that's the prize to enter into Yahweh Shemel Shai's rest. Okay, that's what that's what we want, and the rest is what the rest is salvation. Okay, the rest is the kingdom of heaven. You know, any of you should seem to come short of, for unto us was the gospel preached, as well unto them. <clears throat> that's talking about the two thirds, or, or you know anybody else who 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 known this truth or heard of this truth. And this was preached to everybody. So when I get it, I have to press for the mark. And to get what? To get that prize, you know? And 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 the um. And how could I say it? In the process of doing that, you're gonna have to suffer to get to that prize. You're gonna have to suffer wrongfully. You're gonna have to hell be put to death, like um, like Yahweh was put to death, like the apostles was put to death. You know? It says, as well as unto them. But the word preached did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. So, me pressing toward the mark, or me doing this truth, is because what? It's because I have faith in Yahweh Bashim that was shot. Okay? See, they heard it, but they didn't believe it. It didn't, it didn't uh, connect to that spirit that's, that, that was within them. Because ultimately, they wasn't called. So, if you're called for this work, man, 
what 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 else is what, what else can you do? What else is there to fucking do in this world, man? Besides do this by do this truth, man. Because we we know and we see what's gonna happen. You know? So let me get um let me get a pocket Okay. This is when I think about pressing toward that market, pressing toward that prize. Um I mean, um, you know, let me read that scripture again. It said, um, um, third chapter, 14 verse, Philippians, I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of the most high in Yahweh shot. So we was called for this, right? That's the key point. We were called to do this, you know, one of the key points. This is, um, Sirach, the second chapter. And the first verse, bring it on home. This is, um. <clears throat> my son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. So if you was called, man, and and and, and you, you you received that holy calling, well, guess what? You got to prepare your soul for temptation. Set thy heart aright and constantly endure. You see that? You got to endure with this, man. That's why the scripture tells you, First Peter one and ten, it says, endure heart. I mean, it says, um, give diligence to make that calling election sure. Okay, that's that's part of enduring, giving the diligence, doing these works, man. Okay, the spirit of Prophet Yahweh Shimel Shai. Okay, it says, um, and make not haste in the time of trouble. Don't bitch up. Basically, cleave unto him and depart not away, that thou mayest be increased at the at thy last. And cleaving unto Yahweh Shimel Shai, and cleaving unto him is is doing you know what the men of the Lord are doing, being watchful. Being overseers, bringing down um, <clears throat> uh, imaginations. Uh, what did it say? Uh, breaking down strongholds, man. Okay. That's cleaving unto Yahweh Shemel Shai because we're in we're in a book, we're, we're in these scriptures, we're reading, we're studying. Give diligence to make that calling election sure. That's pressing towards the mark, man. We got to be diligent. We got to endure. You know. Let me keep going. It's, and it said, Thou mayest be increased at thy last end. And we're gonna get increased, man. Okay? The elect, the ones who's doing the ones who's pressing. Okay? It's gonna get increased. And that increase is what? Ultimately entering into that rest. Going back to Hebrews 4. Um being part of the elect. You know? It says, Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully. Because we're pressing, man. And be patient when thou art changed to a lower state. For gold is tried in the fire, and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. So, pressing toward that mark for, for that prize, man, is going through the, the trials and the tribulations and the hell. You know, the no sleep, the pain, the aches, the, the scoffers, you know, the woman, the child. That's you, you basically fighting through that, man. You stick shifting. You, uh, uh, um, how you call it, um, what's the word, what's the word, uh, stiff arming, you know, stiff shifting, truck stiffing, whatever it is, you know, guys, we gonna play, uh, know about football, you know, uh, high hurdles, you know, scrambling, you running, you know, trucking, you know, everything that comes towards you. That's why in the beginning it says, son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thyself for temptation. So all the temptation that's coming to us, we have to block it out. We have to block all that, the wickedness out. Okay? As as well as the other doctrines. See, as guys stop pressing towards that mark for the prize because of these other doctrines. They get woo off these other doctrines. You know? It says, uh, whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient without change to a lower state. For gold is tried in the fire and acceptable men in the furnace of diversity. Believe in him and he will not he will help thee. Order thy way aright and trust in him. Ye fear ye that fear the Lord wait for his mercy and go not aside, ye she fall. That's self-explanatory, man. You shouldn't even have to break that down, man. Yahweh Shai is gonna lead uh, he's gonna give us that mercy if we're doing what we're doing, man. Okay? And and go not aside unless you fall, man. Unless you become a fucking reprobate. That's you falling, man. You be giving up. You you you're lacking in faith. You're lacking in 
and, and, and integrity, continuing in this truth, man. You know, guys who fall out the truth, man, they're going to be destroyed. Okay? Now, I hear what I said. I said fall out the truth. I didn't say fall out camp. Because these guys, you know, these guys that have fell out and are still doing the work because they actually have the faith. And they, and they, you know, eventually they was brought back into the fold of, of the righteous men through the spirit of Yahweh Shemel Shai. But once you fall out the truth, man, see, the Lord be putting, you know, things in, in brothers' uh, uh, forefronts to try them and test them. That's right here. For gold is tried in the fire, and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. You know, brothers who's really trying, who's really about this. It says, he that fear the Lord, believe him, and your reward shall not fail. That's the that's that's the uh, the high calling. That's the prize. See that? You say um, he said uh, your reward shall not fail. And what's the reward, man? To be become the first fruits. It says, Ye that fear the Lord, hope for good and for everlasting joy and mercy. Look at the generations of old and see did every any trust in the Lord and was confounded or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? See if you see a hey, you call upon that name. That's a cousin name. And anything that you went through, read, read the old, uh, read the old, the old so-called Old Testament. Read about the men of the Lord. Anybody who believed in him. <clears throat> they, and, and guess what? They was delivered. Abraham had the faith. He, he believed in Yahweh Shemoshai. Noah. Okay? Job. See, we got to take these stories and, and, and really apply them to our life because those men, that's how the scriptures say, uh, look at the generation of old and see that ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded. So if you really pressing towards this mark and fight through this affliction, man, and this hell and torment, man, you're going you're gonna to receive that reward, man, through the spirit of probably Yahweh Shemoshai, man. If you stay faithful. You know, get that one. You know what's like it. Okay, this is my last scripture. This is um, Second Ezra, the seventh chapter, in the sixth verse, and it says, "There is also another thing: a city is built and set upon a broad field, and is full of all good things. The entrance thereof is narrow, and." And is set in a dangerous place to fall. So that's this dangerous place is America, man. You can get you can get captivated by any of these philosophies. You know, it's, it's ton of demonic working philosophies out here. You know, that 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 is against Yahweh Shemesh against the truth. So that's the dangerous part about it, man. The flesh that we're in, that's the dangerous part about it because you know the flesh is weak. But you gotta, you gotta walk through the spirit. You gotta walk by the spirit. You know. It says the entrance thereof is narrow, and is set in a dangerous place to fall. Place to fall, like as <clears throat> if there were a fire on the right hand and on the left a deep water. So, hey man, you gotta tread lightly in this truth, man. You can't, you can't be puffed up and proud and try to run straight through the gate, man. You gotta go through. You gotta go through those blocks, man. You gotta jump over them blocks, man. Bust through them blocks, man. You know. And, and the blocks is the, the the ways of this world, man. The flesh. You know. Your family. Okay. Uh, your, your children, your wife, a ton of guys who have fell out because of their fucking woman, man. <laughs> man, a couple brothers just just speak it on that. You know, one particular guy. I'm not gonna mention his name. You know, he butt hurt over a fucking woman, man. Would do anything and everything and die for a woman, man. More than this truth, you know. It's fucking ridiculous. Well, let me keep going. It says, I'm on verse eight. It says, and 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 one only path between both, even between the fire and the water, so small that there could but one man go there at once. And that's they're going back to. Philippians 3 and 14, I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of the Most High and Yahweh shot. Each individual man who received their calling, man, um, 
each, each individual man that received their calling, they, um, they, they're going in, you know, they got to do this by, by itself, you know, they got to go through the affliction on their own, you know, I mean, you got brothers to help you out, but ultimately it's you who, who has to, um, continue in this thing, man, you can come up, you can come in the troop with, with seven brothers, man, and you can be the only one who stay faithful, Okay, that's so you have to do your own individual fight. You have to do your own individual uh, pressing toward that mark. Okay. It says, um, if he answer, if he never shall pass the danger set before it, how shall he receive this inheritance? Right. If you ain't going through the, the trials and tribulations of this truth, man, how is you going to receive anything? How wish I had to suffer? So we have to suffer, you know? It says, um, let me just read through this part. It says, and I said, it is so, Lord. Then said he, uh, even unto me, even so also, uh, at, so like here, even so also is Israel's portion, because for their sake I made the world. And when Adam transgressed my statue, then was decreased that now is done. Then were the entrance of this world made narrow, full of sorrow and travail. They are but few and evil, full of perils and very painful. For the entrance of the elder world were wide and sh sure and brought immortal fruit. And then they have the live labor not to enter these straight and vain things. They can never receive those that are laid up for them. So it's telling you that back then, you know, when, when it was a righteousness, man, it was it was easy. But now, man, after you know Adam went off, hey man, it's harder, man. So we have to fight, man. We have to strive to the mark, man. Okay. So, um, like like I was saying that it was you know it was broader the the, the how you said being um, the you know righteous and. And that 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 door was open, but now it, it, it's hard to get in because we got to go through so much affliction to hell. But you gotta goes back to the Hebrews, man. You gotta be mixed with that faith, man, and continue fighting and endure. Okay, so this is uh, Philippians three and fourteen. I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of the high calling of the Most High in Yahushua. So that's what we're doing, man. I'm pressing toward that mark. His high calling, he called us to do his work, man. So if we're doing this work, man, we gotta continue in it. Don't fall out at the last end, man. Don't become a fucking bug out, don't become a scoffer, man. You gotta stick through this, man. Cause despite on everything that's going on in the world, man, Yahweh Shai selected you for a particular reason to do this truth. Okay? And you gotta take that consider consideration. Like, damn, the Lord loves you, you know. Hey, he said he chastened those who he loved. Okay? So, press toward that mark, man. If you was called to do this, man, do this truth, man. With the best of your ability, stay faithful and pray and fast. So, with that, that's my ending of my um, motivation. I dub on the apostle Greg Billstone. Or Salaki. Call Halal Yahweh Bashi Nao Shai. Rakate Hao Rakate Hao Shai. Double honest to the Apostle Greg Millstone, say so to the elect men out there who doing this truth, and the women who, who's listening and, and being, you know, on the back, you know, on the back end doing doing what a woman's supposed to do according to the scriptures, you know. So with that, shalom.